Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So it's midnight my time and the Q&A for episode 7 just came out. Now before I get into that, I just want to say be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help me hit my goal of 500 subs before the end of the year. I know we can do it. Alright, so here we go. The Q&A for episode 7, time for after. What happens with Rick at the junkyard? In the opening scene, Jada springs out Rick and takes some of her own Polaroids. Rick asks what they're for, and she says, to sculpt you. After. Jadis won't say after what. Does Rick escape the junkyard crew? How? He doesn't really escape per se. The trash hipsters have created a Winslow 2.0 and force Rick to fight him. It seems they didn't learn the first time because, of course, Rick kicks the new Winslow's ass in less than a minute and beheads him. Rick then grabs Jadis and holds her head close to Winslow's head, asking her if they have a deal. She finally says yes. What does Daryl, Tara, Michonne, and Rosita decide to do? Rosita seems to have been affected by Sasha coming out of the coffin as a walker, and so she backs out and returns to Alexandria. So does Michonne eventually. But Tara, along with the assistance of Morgan, serve as lookouts and snipers while Daryl rams the garbage truck into the sanctuary. This causes the walkers to start infiltrating the sanctuary. What is Morgan doing in this episode? He shows up to help Daryl and Tara with their plan to attack the sanctuary. Morgan always coming in clutch. What does Daryl and Rosita argue about? They argue about the merits of attacking the sanctuary. Rosita says she, she learned her lesson about going rogue after Sasha was killed, and she says she can't risk it again. She says she trusts Rick and that Daryl should too. They can't come to an agreement, so Rosita leaves. What is going on with Father G? Does he escape? No, he's very sick, but he has not been bitten. Dr. Carson says it's a severe infection, possibly more than one. Eugene visits Father Gabriel, and he tries to convince Eugene to come back to Rick's side and, quote, do the right thing. It doesn't work. Uh, at the end of the episode, and after the sanctuary is flooded with walkers, Eugene returns to Father G and basically tells him off. He says he will not help Dr. Carson escape the sanctuary. He won't betray Negan. And while he may be just out for himself, he's perfectly fine with that. Eugene even says that he wants Dr. Carson to remain at the sanctuary just in case he becomes ill in the future. Uh, we know in the sneak peeks that Eugene confronts Dwight about double-crossing the saviors. Does he eventually agree to go along with Dwight, or does he try to stop him? Neither. Eugene says he won't say anything about what Dwight has done, just as long as he doesn't do anything further that could harm anyone in the sanctuary. However, Eugene continues to remain loyal to Negan and won't hear anything of what Dwight or anyone else has to say on the matter. Does anyone die? If so, who? Uh, a shitload of saviors slash workers when the garbage truck crashes into the sanctuary. How does the episode end? The episode ends with Rick leading Jadis and the group of trash people to the sanctuary to show them that the sanctuary is surrounded by walkers. The plan is for Rick, Jadis, and the others to ask the sanctuary surrender together. But when they arrive, there is no answer on the radio from any of Rick's lookouts or snipers, and all the walkers are gone. Some made their way into the sanctuary when Daryl pulled his garbage truck stunt, but not all of them. So, it appears that Eugene may have come through and figured out a way to clear the sanctuary of the walkers. Rick looks terrified when he sees this. Uh, bonus. Eugene uses a device he made out of a kite and an iPod to try to lure walkers away from the sanctuary. Dwight ends up shooting it down. There we go. That is episode 7. Sounds like it's going to be a very interesting episode. Um, kind of out of breath here. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely curious to see what uh, Winslow 2.0 looks like. You know, after seeing Winslow the first time, he was really cool looking. So I'm kind of curious to see if they kind of stepped it up a bit somehow. I mean, I really don't know how they do that. You know, after, you know, having all the spikes come out of them and stuff like that. Not sure what else they could do, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, that sounds very interesting. Uh, seeing him fight Winslow 2.0 again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm totally out of breath. Um, 
you know, it does look like Eugene is solidly on Negan's side, apparently. You know, looks like nothing really is going to turn him back. I mean, just by, you know, reading all this, it looks like, you know, he is, he is Negan. Looks like there's nothing, nothing that's going to, uh, to change that, unfortunately. Um, you know, Dwight is still, you know, on our side and everything like that, you know. He shoots down uh, Eugene's kite, iPod thing, whatever. Uh, sounds like an interesting device, though. Got to give it to him on that. It does sound, uh, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, but, of course, I'm very curious to see what is going to happen with um, Rick and Daryl now. Because, you know, Daryl just kind of completely effed up Rick's entire plan. You know, here here's Rick going to the junkyard people saying, hey, look at this. You know, here's a picture of the sanctuary surrounded by walkers. And now, oh, okay, yeah. Then they go over there. No walkers. Uh-oh. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the future um, between Rick and Daryl. Now that uh, Daryl has basically effed up Rick's entire plan. But, um... Yeah, totally looks like it's going to be um, <clears throat> a very interesting episode. I can't wait. I think they, um, they're they setting up perfectly for the uh, mid-season finale, which, of course, if you know, you know, if you've read the comics, you know exactly what is going to happen, what big event is going to happen, the bombing of Alexandria. You know, I'm sure if, uh, um, you know, you watched my... Uh, filming update videos you would have seen the massive explosions happening at alexandria which happens in the mid-season finale so um yeah they're totally setting everything up for this awesome mid-season finale but um yeah anyway sounds like it's going to be a uh, a very interesting episode like i said i can't wait but anyways uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up button That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe. Help me out. Help me reach 500 subs before the end of the year. That's my goal. And, um, yeah, just leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to Winslow 2.0? Are you looking forward to, um, uh, you know, the whole garbage truck going right into the sanctuary? Are you looking forward to see what happens with Rick and Daryl now after that happens? Let me know. And, um... Yeah, just stick around. More videos are on the way. Um, I might be doing a Vikings reaction video since uh, Vikings premiered, you know, today, yesterday, at the time that I'm recording this, uh, since it is 1230 at night. Uh, so, yesterday. Um, so, if you guys are fans of Vikings, um, you know, I might have that up. Uh, that might take a lot of editing since uh, it was a double premiere, so it was a two-hour episode. I think it was episode one and two so yeah that's going to be a lot of editing you know two hours trying to cut it down to 15 20 minutes so <laughs> we'll have to wait and see about that uh but anyways i'm rambling on uh just stick around more videos are on the way and i will see you guys next time